Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are playing the Brighton says, in the FA, the, Cup it, Alan, it? the Emirates three. FA Cup. Oh, yeah, it's brilliant to be it here. It the certainly team. is. It's still got a magic attached to it, this competition. And uh, I've got a feeling we're going to get a good game. And this match today is Brighton and Hove Albion against Oxford United. Brighton will play with these players today. The system that we think they're going to go with is 4-5-1. That one striker will need a bit of support. Yeah, you do not want him to be left isolated. Otherwise, this formation will not work. And the opposing team will start the game like this. Christian Atsu starts, looking to continue his great form in midfield. And they're going to go with one striker up front. Thank you. Enjoy the game. Ball on the centre spot. And that tingle of excitement that comes with the FA Cup. It is special. And every player want to get an early touch, settle themselves down. Goal news from Burton. It's a goal for Hull City. It's been scored by Fraser Campbell. And now the shot. Oh, he wishes he'd made it harder for the goalkeeper, I think. Now Atsu. Bit of space to go forward into with the ball. Well, that's good defending. The news from Alan McAnally was that Hull City had scored in that game apologies for cutting him short and that's the first goal of the game it's 1-0 it's a good cross it's not really a way poor clearance goalkeeper will be hoping that all his work today is as easy as this save Alan McAnally is our man watching elsewhere Alan what have you got to tell us it's a goal for Nottingham Forest 13 minutes played 1-0 well many thanks Alan McAnally keeping us up to date as usual Break quickly when they get possession. With good vision. Guiding it through. I was on the verge of shouting goal for the first time today. The fans were as well behind that goal. And it's gone out for a throw. Alan McAnally is at the iPro Stadium. Alan, what have you got for us? It's a goal for Derby County. 19 minutes played, 1-1. Slipping it through. A low cross into the area. And he's opened the scoring here. You have to be there to score it. And he ran in and got his reward. Just couldn't miss. No, it was a poacher's effort. The final finish wasn't difficult, but to get there, it took a little bit of instinct. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Goal for the visitors. Proper. Christian Atsu. Gross. Penalty at Notts County. It's a penalty for Notts County. He's put the ball down on the spot. Here he comes. Oh, nice one. Oh, he's hit the... He's in here. One in front. They would be a lot more comfortable if they were two in front. And they really could have been. Yeah, might they look back on that with a bit of regret because that was a great chance to extend the lead, wasn't it? Interception here. Building steadily here, keeping possession. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Well, 
this could bring them level, but he's missed it. Oh, he hangs his head in disappointment. What a miss. Bagayoko. Goal nears from Cardiff. It's a second goal for Cardiff City. 32 minutes played, 2-0. Cheers, Alan. You can see what he was trying to do with the cross, but it's a goal kick. Just wondering about the effect of the snow into the players' eyes and seeing uh, as clearly as they would do if there was no snow. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? If uh, it impairs vision and uh, if it gathers on the ball as well, of course, that's when the ref has to have a look at it. Alan McAnally is watching the game at Everton and there's a penalty at Goodison. It's a penalty for Everton. A slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. Good vision. Opportunity here. Tried to steer it in, but it's past the post. Yep, all the good players put those kind of misses out of their mind and come back again and do better next time. And it's gone out for a throw. We did have to cut short Alan McAnally in that report earlier but a wasted penalty from Everton. The score remains 1-0. Untidy work. Esquiedo. Proper. Ezekiel Shalotto. The court official has indicated... Maybe he'll cross it here. Three minutes of added time. Shoots! And that goalkeeper can just saunter out and pick that up. And the referee has given the free kick. Well, it wasn't the most powerful header, so it was a very... Well, the referee has signalled for half-time, and it's 1-0 here. I think... Here we go for the second half of this Emirates FA Cup tie. Yeah, the first half wasn't bad. Hoping for more of the same here. There's been a goal at St James's Park, Alan McAnally. It's the second goal for Newcastle United. 46 minutes played. Here's a chance. Here's a chance. Goalkeeper exposed. David Prepper. The transfer news today is a confirmed deal. Roma have made their signing. It's a statement of intent, isn't it? Around £35 million for this lad, but he's got uh, good talent, good credentials. Goal news from Port Vale. It's a second goal for Wolverhampton Wanderers. Good vision. Oh, it's close, Alan. Offside is given. He's quick enough. He doesn't need to do that. And now we're going to have an alteration. It's a Manchester United goal that Alan McAnally was trying to tell us about. I had to... The break is definitely on. Big call now from the referee. Yes, it is red. Well, sometimes as a ref, you simply have no choice, and that was one of those times. Look again, Alan, at this, the slide tackle that went wrong. Well, it was badly timed. He didn't get the ball, and he knows he's committed a foul there. And the wall together... Able to get that extra height by jumping to block the free kick. They've got a corner, and being a goal down, they want to make the most of this. But here comes the corner. Opportunity to cross it now. It's a difficult technique, and he didn't quite catch it. Yeah, fair play for taking it on. Takes a bit of confidence to do that. Goal news from Huddersfield. It's a third goal for Huddersfield Town. 61 minutes played, 3 0. Cheers, Alan. Proper. Probing the pass. That's easy here for the keeper. David Proper. Jose Esquerdo. Building steadily here, keeping possession. 
Esquerdo. And now the shot. Going to try one now. Oh, that would have looked great if it had flown in, but in the end, it didn't fly very close at all. No, he looked a bit embarrassed after that effort. Well, time to go to Anfield, where Alan mcanally has got some news for us. It's a third goal. Guided through. Just the keeper to beat. It must be. Brilliant goal. He's hit this one. He's flew off his boot to beat the keeper. The goal, wherever you look at it, it was very well taken. Well, I know this manager's been working hard on the training ground on a certain shape, and boy, is it getting results out there. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. 20 minutes of the 90 still to play. A bit predictable with the passing and the opposition able to deal with that. Alan McAnally back at Villa Park. He's got some news for us. It's a second goal for Southampton. 72 minutes played. 2 0. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. Steered through. Well, he's tried for his second goal of the game. Keepers. Got the better of him this time. Well, you thought there was only one winner there, but in the end, it was the the keeper that kind of guided through. Well, then it goes. Defender did well to get to it, but hasn't really finished the job. It's a wonderful game involving Liverpool. Alan McAnally loving it. I'm sorry I had to cut him short, really. The score is now 3-0. Good vision. Played in the clear. Still a chance in there off the goalkeeper. That was a puff out your cheeks moment and phew got away with it it's going to be a substitution here for the home side goal news from Preston it's a goal from Manchester City nine minutes remain 1-1 one, one. thank you very much Alan on the attack here awkward for the goalkeeper but he was positive and just beat the attacker to the ball and five minutes remaining. That's a good spot by the defender. Jahan Baksh. Another turnover in play here with that interception. The referee has indicated... Now, can he take them on? Now the shot! It's a corner. Well, they're going to shuffle the pack a bit now. He works so hard on his heading. He needs to do a bit more work, I think. Yeah, the keeper's waving that one bye-bye. We should thank these supporters, Alan, for the atmosphere they've created for us to work with today. And their reward for that is seeing their team win. And the referee has blown his whistle. It's 2-0 the final score. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next video which is against uh, Wolves in the um, semi-final first leg of the Caribbean Cup. Peace.